Twenty orange to granddad. <laughs> Looky there, he's awake. You daft! Don't go in there! Shut it, he's in chains, can't do a thing. Am I right, Master Geralt? <laughs> oh. Roll again! Why? The dice didn't roll! Calling me a cheat? Take it back. Look, he's awake again. Monster slayer, my ass. A regular horson. I heard witches on the star out as roadside orphans oh. taken in by mages. Mages who experiment on them. <laughs> Fuck's sake, they plow witches come the equinox. That's how they get those spooky eyes. Enough! Take him down and put him in the interrogation room. I thought you died. I'm not so easy to kill. I don't believe we've been introduced. Vernon Roach. Walk around behind me if you want to shake. Well, how foolish of me. Vess! <laughs> Unshackle him. Bring something to drink. We can't sit here cotton mouth. You will tell me everything you remember. The entire assault. And all that happened in the solar. And if I refuse? I shall have to beat you. I've commanded the special forces for a while. Got good at beating others. You're a witcher. You'd endure much. You better believe it. Worst case scenario? You'll suffer through it, go back to your cell, and tomorrow, they'll publicly gut you, skin you, and hang you. Just like that? For nothing? No. For Temeria. Downright praiseworthy. Where should I start? It was a long day. I wish to hear the important bits. Things went relatively smoothly after we came out of that tower. That is, until we ran into Arian Lavalette. You shall push for the center aisle and bring down that gate. It's a good day to kill, your majesty. Follow me, gentlemen, for Temeria. Lord Swan, you and your men shall follow me. We must capture or otherwise deal with Arian Lavalette in order to break the defender's morale. Yes, your grace. Geralt, 
gentlemen. Follow me. For the glory! Fall back, goddammit! I forbid you to die like imbeciles! Hear me! They've taken a good position, the bastards! If this persists, they'll pick us off like ducks, and I'm no duck! Any ideas? That ballista would do the trick. Swan, you and your men shall follow me. We must ca get. Fall back, God damn it! I forbid you to die like imbeciles. Hear me! They've taken a good pos. If this. That ballista would do the trick.
or be put down like the rabid dogs you are! Arian Lavalette. This will be no easy task. Surrender, Arian! You'll be treated with honor! Go plow yourself, King! Bury them in arrows! Come on, men! For Temeria! They're well shielded. You got a better idea? I'll try to get inside. It shouldn't be hard if the archers provide cover. That's the son of Louisa and the old Baron. Heir to these lands. He's hot-tempered, but good with a sword. Be careful. I'll try to reason with him. Cover the Witcher! Famed Geralt of Rivia. You've fallen low, Witcher. Word has it you're one of the best swordsmen in the North. Time to test that rumor. Enough slaughter. Surrender and Foltest will treat you and your men with honor. And what guarantee is there that he'll not cut us down to the last? None. Foltest defiled my mother. Now he colludes with Nilfgaard. The king leads an army. You have but a few brave men and your honor. In a minute, you may lose even those. Choose. Hear that, men! The king sends a witcher, and we are to surrender, forgetting the very nature of honor and pride. We must choose. Shame or a witcher's sword? Is that how you would live? Will you bow your heads before Foltest? Never! You heard them, witcher. This is between us. So be it. Stand back, men! My nanny told me stories about you when I couldn't sleep. I especially liked the one of Renfrey and her rogues. As I grew, I dreamed of facing you one day. That dream will not have a happy ending for you. Down with Halt! Ah! He's mine!
the famed and none F the king hear that man no you down with halt Kennedy! he's mine The famed Geralt of Rivia. You've fallen low, Witcher. Down with Halt! Kennedy! He's mine! The successor of one of Temeria's oldest families perished at the hands of a monster slayer. A sign of the times, I suppose. You mourn Arian? No. He was one of a dying breed. And he was a traitor. Continue. While I remember, what happened to the dragon? It destroyed half the castle. Killed hordes of soldiers and flew off. Where? in the general direction of Eden. To think it almost killed us all. Arian Lavalette has surrendered the castle. Open the gate. Arian lives. Open now. Kneel before your king and I shall show you mercy. Looks like we're stuck. Indeed, and my magic's no good here. The main force down in those boats is going to beat us to town. Want to head back to the tent? The camp will be nice and empty now. I've had enough for today. Tempting. Look, the king's special forces. One of the Baron! You really had to kill him.
No other way sometimes. Sire. Vernon Roach. Tell me, Roach. There's fighting in the town. A section of our forces crossed the river in fishing boats and swarmed the streets, burning, raping, pillaging. The Lavalettes are making a stand near the temple. What of the Baroness? Alive and safely tucked away. Unsoiled, I hope. As you ordered, sire. She's fine. And beautiful as ever. The children were not with her. But you know where they are? In the monastery. But we've yet to penetrate that area. Cross, quickly! Protect the king! the course of the battle. The fighting should have scared it off. Forget the dragon. I need to hear how this story ends. You were at my side almost all the time after the bridge collapsed. Almost. Tell me how you got into the monastery courtyard. And they said we couldn't get near the walls. Half a day and the town is taken. Report! Fighting for the castle continues, and a group of rebels have barricaded themselves inside the monastery. What of my children? Likely in the church as well, sire. Fen took a priest to task, finally mumbled something about a passage neath the walls. It would take a week to get a battering ram in here. Axes, sire. That will also take time. But what other course do we have? This priest. What of him? What of this passage? I fainted for I could really get going on him. He's under guard below. You've some work to do, Commander. Yes, sire. Silas, you look to this door. Fen, come with me. Witcher. Your grace. I have a mission for you, one suited to your abilities. Vernon can be persuasive, but he's also hot-tempered, at times losing both his self-control and his subject. You must try to find this other passage on your own. Succeed. And you'll be the envy of all Vizima. Soldiers loyal to the Lavalettes would never harm the Baroness's children. I shall be reassured as to that when I see them, not before. We must act quickly. The rebels are dispersed, in disarray. As dim-witted as they are, 
I fear they could conclude the children would make good hostages. Maybe Roach will get something out of this priest. It's a relatively large town. I could use a hint. I'm counting on him. But time is of the essence. Please explore the area. We seek a tunnel or something similar. Beware of traps. They may have planted some. You're best suited to this. My men lack your skills. All right, I'll go. I'm relying on you, Witcher. Better those axes! Move your asses! <laughs> Throat's parched from all this running about. We need booze for the evening. Release us, soldier, sir. So many Shut men it. will die. We're innocent. One bit. The king will decide your fate. And now, horse son, shall answer for treason. What treason, my lord? We're simple folk and know nothing of politics. Love let lost, so you whimper like dogs. What will you do with us? The king will decide. Now, up against the wall and shut your traps. Maybe you could make a speech, with you. Rouse the troops, so to speak. What will happen to us? Focus. What will happen to us? Soldier, sir. Shut it. We're innocent. 
The king will decide your fate. Silver on the table, and shut your gobs! These people are unarmed. This is not your concern. Get lost. Get out of here, now. Uh, right, sir. Let's go. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Be careful. You may not be so lucky next time. Find a place to hide. I must find my wife first. They herded her away with others like cattle. Good luck. Business here. You've all gone mad. Hurry up! We haven't gone all day. You've no business. Leave them alone. They're innocent. Innocent? They're with the lavalettes. Weeds that need to be ripped out with their roots so they won't grow back again. Treason spreads like the plague. No one will leave here alive. And you stay out of this. Won't stand by while you murder innocents. So, what'll you do? Kill you. I was not after your blood. I have witnesses. Sons of bitches, and the king will hear of it.
And now, poor son, shall answer for... So many men will die, all because of one bitch.
Stand your ground! Stand your ground!
To die for the Marius! To die a good death! Yeah. They're traitors! Take no prisoner! Yeah. Kill the witcher! Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Crush those vermin! You have just become the most titled witcher in the world. And the wealthiest. I'll remind you of that when this is all over, sire. See, Vernon? Geralt succeeded. Lucky he did. The priest was downright discourteous and went off to meet his gods. I saw Scoia'tael on the river. Where? How many? What colors did they wear? Plow the elves. We'll tend to them later. The monastery awaits. Goyatel. This puzzle is beginning to come together, Geralt. You're either telling the truth, or weaving a very convincing lie. I want to hear the rest. Just so we're clear on this, I was not eager to go into battle. But Foltest is not someone you refuse. Witcher, are ah. you up? <sighs> His Majesty, King of Tiberia, Pontar, Mahakam, and Sodden, Senior Protector of Bruges, summons Master Geralt to appear before him. Tell him I'll be there shortly. Sorry to intrude like this, my lady, but the King. We heard you. A pleasant day to you, my lady. Witcher.
Stupid war. Could have been such a beautiful morning. A war can never be stupid when waged by your king. A wise war is a contradiction, Triss. Then maybe you know just how I should advise our lustful monarch. Stop falling in love, sire no further bastards, and don't wage stupid wars. Genius. You know these bastards could vie for the throne in the future? Then we'd have an even more senseless conflict. Which doesn't change the fact that... I know. Altest and the other northern monarchs are neither the smartest nor the most refined. But they're kings, one of whom we serve. And I'll see Foltest is summoned, protect him if need be. But once the castle falls, we leave. Did you dream of the wild hunt again? Mm -hmm. The unlucky assassin? How did the autopsy go? It was a nightmare. In the months since you killed him, the king's medics poked around in his corpse like a bunch of amateurs. What arrived in that cart? Well, I wouldn't even call it a corpse. Foltest has some trust issues. Did you learn anything? His pupil suggested he could probably see in the dark as well as you. I couldn't put an age on him. The killer snuck past all the guards and nearly killed Foltest and me a month ago. And now you tell me he was a witcher? Possibly. I'm just saying what the autopsy showed. I haven't told anyone, nor do I plan to. I know what it could do to you if it got out. You might be a savior, a king's witcher now, but masters can be as fickle as the cults they ride. One of the scouts swears he saw a dragon down by the river, claims he ran into a Scoyatel unit. That would have been it if the dragon hadn't swooped down. The elves apparently bowed in prayer and he escaped. A dragon? In the midst of civilization? Oh, please. Besides, does it matter? Witchers don't hunt dragons. Or has something changed? Nothing's changed. And you're right. It's probably not a dragon. Although it could be a fork tail or a slizzard. Maybe even an overgrown wyvern. The scout ran into some elves and scurried away. That's how that story begins and ends. I get the feeling that dream's important. Running frantically through the forest. The wild hunt. They're the last things I remember. I wake up and try to relive the dream and the memory, hoping I'll find some guidance. Some clue to grab onto. Something that'll help me recover my memory. Dreams can be very powerful. Some people claim they can even shape reality. People claim a lot of things. The problem is, it's often nonsense. We'll know in time. I'm sure of it. All right. Time to look to the lustful king and his stupid war. I'll join you later. I'll join you later. Good to see you. Full tests would be assassin. You said you'd ask him. I put the it's a rip. I thought I can sure. Sure, let's go. Shite up. Oh, looky there, you boy. It's that witcher. Get all the Rivian ought to know about that. Don't skew today. Witcher, sir. I have a question. Don't be a soldier slipping on that shite. Better that than on my own entrails. Those trebuchets are fucking powerful. Well, the knights back to have the wall part of We head straight for the town. Sit themselves on the wall. There's a river in the way. Laugh all you like. Come be a soldier. We slip. You seek the king. He waits near the machine. Rick Fortes to victory! Beautiful day for battle. Fear not, Excellency. We're out of range of their arbalists. I am no warrior, sir. I must admit, I prefer... Finally! Traitors of the realm boil tar on the walls while you dally with the royal advisor. How may I assist you, sire? We mount an assault. Keep the trait.
Sire, you said we were out of range. That was a ballista, Excellency. Its arms strengthened with bronze plates and strung with horsehair. It can propel heavy bolts up to a mile away. A deadly and very costly weapon. An experienced crew can cock and release two bolts each minute. Yet it has one flaw. Your Grace, please take cover. The recoil of the arms is so strong upon firing that the weapon shifts. It simply cannot hit the same spot twice. I had no idea Your Grace was a learned military engineer. I'm not. I gave the Baroness those ballistae two years ago for her birthday. Sire. What say you, Excellency, of men who live in spite of such wounds? And what say you, Your Grace, of soldiers who inflict them? Those who did this live no more. Master Garrett, I wish to converse with you whilst the storm of battle has subsided. Forgive me, Master Garrett. Might I know why? Too often they take me for someone I'm not. What do they call you, soldier? Wait. You served with me at Brenneran during our foray into the Pontar Valley. Norman Sader. Still an arbalist? Yes, sir. Fight has not been kind to me. Ha! Norman Sador. For your years of faithful service to the Crown, I appoint you Decurion of the Arbalists. Onwards, gentlemen. No reason to dawdle. Curian of the Arbalest. Forgive my candor, Your Majesty, but uh, I must ask, what fate awaits the royal bastards when they're my children? If I hear a bastard one more time, someone will die. Painfully. Your Grace, forgive me. But the laws of succession are irrefutably clear. Yes, the laws. I'll change them if need be. Above all, I'll not allow a band of treacherous barons to use my children as their banner. Your Majesty is entirely within his rights. Adder is dead, and I have no other children. I see. This conversation is over, Excellency. Please retire to your tent. Black One's in my camp before a battle. What has the world come to? Nothing would make me happier than returning to the old head to Emir in a sack. But Triss Merigold insisted I be patient and courteous. Was I? I couldn't have handled it better myself. Ha! I always knew you were one of us. And bugger what folks say. They talk about Anna no end. Have you learned anything about the assassin? Twisted an autopsy. It's possible he was a witcher. A witcher? What have I ever done to the plowing witchers? Anything more? He had no medallion, but that doesn't mean anything. Many in your shoes would have withheld that information. After the battle, Triss will report to me. For now, let us tend to the traitors. Where are you aiming, imbeciles? Soldier! Spyglass! What is going on up there? The gods! Count at you, Barry! Catch, Witcher. Aim for the rogue with the red plume. Not six months ago, he swore eternal friendship to me. Quickly! How much higher? Two and a half degrees. Did we hit the bastard? He ducked. Damn it. We'll get him on the walls. Follow me, Witcher.
You know, Witcher, I'm prepared to forgive Louisa. All she need do is to kneel before her king. Very noble of you. Are you mocking me? Never mind. I'm certain Louisa will realize her mistakes. Besides, children should have a mother. I'm lost. It's quite simple. Louisa and I had a bit of a tip. She made demands I could not fulfill. Understand? I think so. Count Echeverry and others immediately intervened, all noble, all sympathetic. They claimed the Red evil king would take her children. Get. When they would protect them, even place them on the throne. And, and the Baroness was duped. A motherly love used. In That's truth, they desire man. privileges they that would weaken the throne. Coin and country there, your wife! And a long road at Jitso! <laughs> I don't trust you. Look alive, men! Hail to the king! Where the hell are we headed? To the What the fuck do we want? On the bridge! We're nearly there! Weapons at the ready! That tower was ridiculous. It was designed to break the rebels' morale. A bunch of lords and lordlings took a ride to then pompously stride on top of the walls, while the real army fought and died below them in the shit and piss filled streets. If years of service have taught me anything, it's that the Highborn don the best costumes and get the best vantage points, whether at a ball or in battle. But it's not the time for that kind of jousting, Witcher. Continue your story. Voltest bastards. The Solar. What happened? We might have arrived at the same time if not for tales. Be specific, Witcher. Well, the Archpriest told the truth. His Majesty King Voltest of Temeria. Arthur Tales, erstwhile Count of Nesvelt. I signed your sentence. Yes, yet the Baroness saw fit to pardon me. An awkward situation, to be sure. Anais and Boosie, where are they? The royal children. Don't test my patience, Tales, and I'll grant you a quick death. Confess, full test, before the gods and the people. Boosie and Anais are the fruit of your loins. Bow to the gods and admit the truth. You may not have noticed, Tails, but I just took this town. Aided by murderers, sorcerers, and a mutant for whom nothing is holy. This is hallowed ground. You will not raise your hand against a servant of the gods. Where have you taken the children? The soul. The soul. What is this? Black blasphemy! Sorcerers! Sorcerers! Tricks! Trickery! They called me Darth. That's what? Well, what's all? Damn nonsense! Geralt, you should know. Is it possible to tame a dragon? Not as far as I know. Then why is this reptile eating only mine? Let's hope Marigold got out of there. I'm sure she did. If not, you'll need a new advisor, sire. Shut up, Roach. It's possible that the dragon simply. Another word from you and the dragon will not be your main concern. Enough! Both of you! The dragon's back! I can't! Back. 
You saved my life again. Ask what you will of me, Witcher. Within reason, of course. I need to leave, sire. I'd like Triss Marigold to come with me. If she wants. Are you blind? She's enamored with you. You may leave, and not... Who goes there? Foltest. I've come for my children. Geralt, wait here. You might scare them. Ah, thanks be to the gods. My prayers are answered. That's not my father. But it is your king, boy. <laughs> Bells, your triumph is complete. The city and fortress taken, sire. Time to thank the forefather and the mother creatrix for this great victory. A moment, blind man. I've not seen my children in six months. The gods can spare another minute. Listen to me. Your mother and I quarreled, but that is over. She was deceived. Evil men turned her against me. These men have been punished, and all will be well from now. No tears, Boosie. One day you'll be king. And kings do not weep. Armed men approach, sire. Children, go to the refectory. My knights will soon be here. You must meet them, for one day you will rule them. Busi, go wash your face. They must not see that you wept. There's a bucket of water in the next room. A nice. Help your brother. Sire, let us pray. They must look like the royal children they are. Hmm. They have your eyes, sire.
suppose that's the extent of what you'll give me. Does this mean I'm free? Foltest, King of Temeria, has been murdered. Unfortunately for you, you're the only suspect. The murderer outsmarted you, so I'm to rot in this dungeon. Oh, no danger of you rotting. You'll hang. Convince them otherwise. I have no influence over the court. For fuck's sake, you command the Blue Stripes. Do something. The real murderer is free, and he's further and further away with every hour you spend prancing around in here. I find the Killer Monk story unconvincing. I don't claim he was a monk. He was wearing a frock, though. He sailed off in a boat with some Scoia'tael. Would you recognize him? No problem. A mountain of meat. Never seen anyone bigger. What would you do if you escaped? I'd go after the Kingslayer. You know where to look for him? Some Scoia'tael helped him escape. That's where I'd start. I expect you might know this particular group of elves. How'd you work that out? They wore blue striped masks. Trophies, I expect. Yorveth's commando. I know where to find them. We've a trail to follow after all. If you want to start over and take it easy this time, get me some food. Now that you mention it. This! Bring us food and drink. <laughs> Shame you didn't think of that earlier. It's your own fault, Geralt. Your fate is in your hands. Thank you. Never heard of women serving in the Special Forces. This is one of my best people. How'd she wind up in the Blue Stripes? I pulled her from the paws of the Scoia'tael. Just 16 when they torched her village and slaughtered everyone. The unit commander took a liking and spared her. One last thing. This file is about one Geralt of Rivia. And Foltest's death? Actually, Geralt's death. The report details events from five years ago. Rivia. Population 1,234. In that, 253 non-humans. September the 25th, 1268. A riot erupts. A massacre ensues. Streets run with the blood of elves and dwarves. One person finds the courage to face the raging crowd. During the rioting, 76 non-humans perish, including the witcher Geralt of Rivia. Stabbed in the chest with a pitchfork by a man of whom we know only that his name was Rob, and he owed three crowns at the local tavern. Yennefer of Vengerberg dies trying to heal the witcher. The bodies of Geralt and the sorceress are taken away by a mysterious young girl with ashen hair. Their place of internment remains unknown. I remember. Rivia. Yennefer. What just happened? I saw... I saw my own death. And the rest? Have you regained all your memory? That's all. I just remember the end. Vess! Interrogation's done. Restrain the prisoner.
I'll take the key. I sail up river at dawn. Guards will collect you in five minutes. Eat. You'll need your strength. Not yesterday. He was a hero, pretty much. Everyone's man. Personally saw him cut down 20 men in the blink of an eye, so it's no surprise. Hmm. See him dashing along those walls. Can't rightly say I ever saw his sword the blade move so fast. <laughs> I thought that beast would tear him to bits when it came out of the clouds. Delayed don't mean denied. Hangman will do that tomorrow. <laughs> Say we um, teach him a lesson for what he did to Fultest. I'll not touch the scum. I get scurvy. Right. Hangman'll do it. He's poxy already. <laughs> 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 